Hi. Hi, we're here to film 73 Questions. Can we come in? Yeah, sure, of course. So what's Hope Biosciences? We are a stem cell research company focused on delivering hope. Cool. Is this real wood? No, it's wallpaper. What you are will show in what you do. Is that your favorite quote? One of them. What was that for me? What are you drinking? Coffee. How do you take it? Black. What was your first job? Strange you asked. Um, Starbucks barista. Did you get fired? Absolutely not. Just on to bigger and better things. When did you start this company? In 2016. Cool. With how many employees? We started with three. How did you manage to get funding? Oh, funding's always tricky, but of course, cashed out my entire life savings, uh, went on to get a couple patents, and here we are. So how do you get all this research done? Uh, we focus here on making exceptional stem cells, and the rest, especially when it comes to studying how the cells work in different diseases, we partner up with really great research institutions. Like who? Uh, for example, one of our clinical trials uh, for traumatic brain injury is being done at the um, University of Tes Texas here in Houston. I heard that most biotech companies are in the West Coast and the East Coast. Why are you in Texas? Because Texas is the best. Have you always lived in Houston? Uh, no, I'm a transplant. Came from uh, the D.C. area. Quality control, what is that? The quality control department is in charge of ensuring the quality of all of our products here that we make. Uh, we make sure that the cells are free of contaminants like bacteria, fungi, endotoxin, mycoplasma. We do final cell counts, cell characterization, and we also do environmental monitoring here. So what's the most common misconception about Texas? That we all uh, wear cowboy hats and take our horses to work. So why did you build a lab in Sugarland? Uh, because uh, our lab director had a house in Sugarland, and we thought we should just build the lab the closest to his house. What made you start Hope Biosciences? Hope was started because there was a need to solve the current limitations in cell therapy and hurry up and get approval so that insurance can finally cover these treatments for patients. Who are all these people? This is our fabulous clinical team. What do they do? They are in charge of setting up new clinical trial protocols, finding our clinical trial sites, getting IRB approvals, and all of our FDA regulatory uh, paperwork. How many clinical trials are you doing? Seven. Do you know all of them? Of course. Can you list all of them in less than 10 seconds? Yes, rheumatoid arthritis, cerebral palsy, spinal cord injury, two of them, um, uh, pancreatic cancer, and Parkinson's disease, did I say that? And, and traumatic brain injury. I always forget that one, yes. How do you pick the conditions you'll study? Uh, we um, have this hat and we do a drawing. No, It's much more complicated than that. We, we uh, spend a lot of time trying to decide what are the current unmet needs, what population of patients really need a lot of help right now, and uh, we just go from there. Which disease do you believe is the most urgent? Right now, probably Alzheimer's disease. Why? Because Alzheimer's disease has the greatest socioeconomic impact um, to our country, to our nation, to our planet. Uh, we, I believe that only a regenerative solution will work. Are you going to start a clinical trial for Alzheimer's then? Maybe. Not all stem cells are created equal. What does that mean? That is our tagline. Uh, it, means exactly that, that not all stem cells are the same. So stem cells are all different, and they all have different behaviors, so it's important to pick the right stem cell to fix the right problem. So what kind of stem cells do you make? Mesenchymal stem cells. Do you take them from embryos? No, uh, common misconception, stem cells all come from embryos. They do not. Uh, we can actually find them in adults as well. Wait, what do you mean adults? Yeah, um, from, we actually take, ad adult stem cells from the actual individual. So from patient to patient, each person gets their own stem cells isolated and banked. How do you do that? We go through a process of taking the stem cells from a tissue and we pick fat tissue. From there, we isolate just the mesenchymal stem cells and then we grow them. We mass produce them so we can create infinite quantities of them whenever you need. Fat tissue? Why fat? 
because everyone's so happy to give it away. Does it hurt? No, absolutely not. It's a piece of cake. So where do the cells grow? On these flasks here, uh, stem cells grow on the bottom of the plate. And as you can see, those are the MSCs that we're talking about, these mesenchymal stem cells. These are early confluent cells, like this is a, probably just a couple days after seeding. So what is confluency? It's the amount, uh, the percentage of cells that are actually stuck to the bottom of the flask. So as you can see, there are many more cells here than there were previously, right? So these cells have uh, multiplied over time and have become more confluent. How much fat do you need to get that many cells? Unfortunately, just a tablespoon. And no, we don't accept more. So you create personal stem cells then? That's right, personalized stem cells for every single person. Well, if I'm old, aren't my stem cells old too? Um, we used to think that that was the case, but it actually isn't. Did you always want to start a company? Um, no, not really. <laughs> so how many employees are currently working 20. here? 20. Are you guys hiring? Yes, of course, always. So back to stem cells. So when's the best time to get stem cells? Well, right now, people are getting treated for a variety of different diseases, but eventually it'd be great for people to use them to prevent disease. Whoa, you mean I can bank even my own stem cells, even if I don't have a disease? Oh, of course. Banking sh is happening already, and people should bank well before they have disease so that your cells are ready when you need them. So is stem cell banking popular? Not yet, but it'll be trending in no time. So now we're about to enter our newly expanded banking facility. Wow, this is amazing. Why haven't I heard of this before? Because we just showed up. I heard my friend banked her baby stem cells. Is that the same thing? No, it's uh, Probably cord blood banking, that's my guess. Isn't cord blood banking the same thing as stem cell banking? No, totally different. Uh, cord blood banking is just that. It's banking cord blood, uh, like, like a blood bank. You wanna bank, what we do is we bank stem cells, pure stem cells. So does that mean you're taking fat from a baby? <laughs> no, no, we do not make newborn babies go through that process. Fortunately, we can find the same mesenchymal stem cells that we find in fat tissue in the placenta. Oh, okay. So if you take the stem cells from the placenta, then what happens to the placenta? Well, the placenta actually comes here into this room and we extract just the, we peel off the amniotic membrane, which is the outer sac of the placenta. From that small amount of tissue, we're able to find and locate the very stem cells that we need. Once we isolate them, we throw out the rest of the placenta. How long will the stem cells last? Uh, stem cells last indefinitely, that we bank. Do you guarantee it? Of course. We have a peace of mind guarantee, and we absolutely can guarantee that the cells that we bank, since you saw them downstairs, we actually issue you a certificate with a photograph of the actual cells that we've created for you and that we've banked, and you can access them uh, in the future. And if we find that they're inaccessible for whatever reason, they're no good, then we can always Start, uh, start all over again. So everyone should have their stem cells banked then? Absolutely. What happens if the electricity goes out? <laughs> Nothing. They're stored in liquid nitrogen. So do you have your own stem cells banked here? Uh, of course. Do you have kids? Uh, yes. I actually have one-year-old twins. Would you like to see them? Yes. This is them, Sam and Grace. Do you bank their stem cells? Yes, of course. When they were born, we were able to bank uh, their stem cells isolated from their placentas, two of them. Wait, how do you have twins and have a full-time job? Uh, somehow you manage and we have amazing staff here. Do you ever sleep? From time to time. Where do you see Hope Biosciences in the next 10 years? Probably uh, with hopefully an FDA approved product, patients finally being able to access cells, insurance covering it, and well on our way to preventing disease. If you had a superpower, what would it be? To get everything through FDA in one day. What's the most difficult part about your job? That we can't help people fast enough. What's the most rewarding part about your job? That we can help people. What's your favorite memory at Hope? Treating our very first patient. 
What's the best advice you've been given? Uh, to, even though I'm reaching for my goals, to just really enjoy the journey. So what is the greatest challenge going forward? Probably making all of this affordable one day. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to lunch now. Bye.